Our patient is female and 38 years old. Uh, some electrolyte levels, they are normal. Obesity causes the inflammatory condition. There is no gastritis, no ulcer, no esophagitis. Entry sample of trocar. You can see the weight loss around the belly. It's, it's a big difference. Hello, this is Dr. Said from Dr. He Clinic. Department of Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery. Today, I would like to share my case presentation of laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. This is a real story of a real gastric sleeve patient. And I would like to thank to our patient for providing us and allowing us the images uh, that is uh, extracted from the social media. Let's start. Our patient is female and 38 years old. You can see the weight and height uh, results and we calculate the body mass index based on these results and it is 41.7. Uh, there is no previous abdominal surgery, there is no chronic disease, no medications and based on the international guidelines these, this patient is eligible for metabolic and bariatric surgery uh, in these conditions. Um, you can see our routine pre-operative evaluation tests. We can start with the laboratory tests. Uh, you can see uh, renal function tests, kidney function tests. You can see triglyceride and cholesterol tests and liver function tests that came back normal. Uh, some electrolyte levels, they are normal. And we see always complete blood count before the operation. And uh, we should see hemoglobin level. This is 13.8 in this patient and it's, it's normal uh, for the operation. CRP levels can be seen high in some of the patients because of the obesity. In this patient, CRP is seven. Uh, this is not due to the infection. Actually, it is inflammatory condition because obesity causes the inflammatory condition. So these tests are okay. And before the surgery, we should see the thyroid hormone levels because if there is any abnormality in the thyroid levels, we should correct the thyroid disease before the surgery because thyroid disease is a, is a reason for obesity. And for any surgery, the coagulation parameters are needed. In this patient, it's normal. And hepatitis tests are negative and normal. So you can see the hemoglobin A1C level. This is diabetes test. This is critical for diagnosing the diabetes. Diabetes uh, is diagnosed by over 6.5% of hemoglobin A1C uh, if, the, if the patient has 5.7 to 6.4% hemoglobin A1C, it means that there is insulin resistant and prediabetes. In this patient, 5.1%, this hemoglobin A1C is normal and there is no diabetes. We can proceed with the ultrasound. Ultrasound is critical for detecting any potential intra-abdominal disease. So as you can see, the preoperative laboratory tests are normal and this patient is eligible in terms of laboratory tests. As the part of preoperative evaluation, the endoscopic examination is critical. Uh, you can see a part of the video of endoscopy in this patient. There is no gastritis, no ulcer, no esophagitis, and no hiatal hernia, as you can see. In hiatal hernia, you know, hiatal hernia causes the reflux. If you have hiatal hernia, it means that you have a tendency for having the reflux after the surgery. Reflux disease is a well-known side effect of, uh, of gastric sleeve. But in this patient, there is no clear indication for, for reflux disease, no hiatal hernia, no esophagitis. So clearly we can proceed with any metabolic and bariatric surgery procedure. But always we should proceed with the first step of the metabolic and bariatric surgery. You know, laparoscopic gastric sleeve is the first step of bariatric surgery. There is only restriction, there is only stomach reduction surgery, no connection between stomach and intestine. It means that there is minimum risk 
of gastric sleeve compared to the other patients. Uh, it's a very easy, straightforward operation, just reducing the stomach volume. So we recommended this patient to have the gastric sleeve and the patient approved the gastric sleeve option and we proceed with the gastric sleeve surgery. You can see in the presentation our positioning uh, of the operation theater always there are two uh, surgeons bariatric surgeons in our team one of them is main surgeon and one of them is assistant surgeon it's very easy to do the operation uh, with two surgeons two experienced surgeons you can see the trocar placement and incisions uh, there are five small incisions in laparoscopic gastric sleeve this is the entry sample of trocar and after that we can start with the dissection of the omentum this is basically freeing the the fatty tissue around the stomach so we can provide a free stomach after this dissection after freeing the the fatty tissue around the stomach we place into the stomach a orogastric tube this is a guide for us and we will cut near the edge of the tube and you can see how big the stomach is as you see we finished the operation with the last stapling and now you can see the straight and smooth staple line it's a very good very well laparoscopic gastric sleeve operation straight and smooth staple line there is no bleeding okay the operation is done successful uneventful surgery now i will show you the second year pictures it's coming yes this is second year of the operation what a change really what a big difference you can see the weight loss around the belly you can see the hips you can see all the posture change and it's it's a big difference i must admit that uh, the patient was so keen on doing the lifestyle changing doing the diet uh, she did the diet rules um, she did exercise two three days every week actually with the operation uh, we reduced the stomach volume there is a restriction and we reduced the appetite hormone we remove all the appetite zone so with the operation it's very easy to do the lifestyle changing without the operation with this high weight body it's so so difficult for doing the lifestyle changing actually it's a really helpful tool the laparoscopic gastric sleeve surgery for weight loss process there is a gradual improvement in quality of life and body shape as you can see this was a real story of a real patient uh, after gastric sleeve surgery diagnosing any potential critical diseases uh, before the surgery is so critical. Every patient has different stories, different chronic diseases, different examination of endoscopy, different examination of abdominal ultrasound. Every patient is different from another. So uh, personal decisions on procedure selection is essential. Uh, we should discuss before the surgery with the patient, we can share the potential uh, procedures and we can select together. If you are a candidate for metabolic and bariatric surgery, please discuss with us and we can decide the procedure together. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to me.